Hey. Oh, hey, Michael. I was, hey, I was just going to call you. How you doing? Good. How you doing, man? I'm all right, all right. Yeah? Sorry I'm late. You know what I'm saying? That's all right. No, no. You know what, uh, Gio? What up, G? How's everything? Yeah. I'm good, man. Listen, I'm trying to gather people for uh, an improv class we're going to be doing with uh, Jessica Williams. Oh, man. You know Jessica Williams? Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, got, got a little something for you, man. What's that? What is this? It's a friend of mine, John Buscemi. He has a sneaker line. Happens to have the same last name as you. Wow. Really beautiful shoe. Look at that. It says Buscemi right on there. Yeah. Check this out. Wow. This is a relative of mine that, that makes these? So cool. Yeah, I think so. How'd you meet this guy? We just uh, threw a friend in L.A. He tried to find the nerve to ask me to speak to you because, you know, he didn't want you to think he was another cousin. Right, but right, right. He really is another cousin. I have a lot of cousins. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, yeah. yeah, you know. What'd you do in the off season? We did a remake of The Gambler. Really, oh, really cool shit. Yeah. What'd you play in that? I played the bookie. Okay. <laughs> expanding. Yes, yeah, expanding. Yes, a little bit. Yes, yes. Somebody asked you once if you're ever afraid of being typecast. No, <laughs> I'm afraid of not eating. <laughs> yeah. There you yeah. Go. Now you used to. You didn't start out as an actor, right? What, no, I used to dance many moons ago. Yeah. Yeah. Was that your like first love? Was dancing or was it oh, acting? Oh yeah, or, totally yeah? dancing. I didn't even. Really, I had no thoughts of being an actor. Then I uh, started doing a ton of music videos, and that's when the light bulb went off that, you know, maybe, you know, parlayed us into acting. You know, it was a time when the right video, you could become a star. And, and was The Wire your first big role that Absolutely. you got? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, The Wire was the, what they called the breakout role. Really? Yeah. So actors are always asking me, young actors, they always want me to, like, give them words of advice or something. What would, like, what would you say is the most important thing to tell a young actor? This business is just like everything else, like being a doctor, a lawyer, a physicist. You have to study. Join a theater company, do some plays, read some books, study the craft. The next thing I would say is uh, find your vehicle. Are you a comedic actor? Do you want to be a, a dramatic actor? Do you want to do television? Find something that, that you think fits your, your, your personality the most and home in on that and um, be on time, be prepared, and never give up. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Would you write that down? <laughs> be prepared, be on time. Never give up. Are you still working on the second one? Yeah, I'm to still working on the be on time thing. <laughs> <laughs> Is this OK for sound? We got a guy over here. Travis. Can you tell that guy that we're shooting? And uh, can you just make sure that stays dry? I mean, do a lot of young actors come up to you and... A uh, ton. I get hit up on Twitter constantly. I'm looking to break into the business, give me a shot, let me send you my package. You know, but, um, this game is it's, it's not really, um, not really made like that. You know, you can't right. really go to other actors. Other act actors are looking for jobs themselves. You know, you right. have to find your own way. All right, I'm sorry. Can this... this... What is he doing? I've been standing up like a tree. The birds in the sky made a home out of me. Walking this road, trying to carry this load. You know, sometimes everybody got to fall down. Sing, everybody got to fall down. Sometimes, great God, everybody got to fall. 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 Yeah. Got hey, to that was fall. great. Hey. Thank you. Can you write that song? Thank you. Yeah, it's one of my songs. Yeah. Wow. This is Michael Kenneth Williams. Nice to meet you, man. Love your work. Thank man. you, You're bro. Fantastic. Good song. That's uh, Geo. Hey, Geo. All right. And uh, I, see, I see that you you've met Travis. He's yeah, a friendly guy. Just came over and like you know yeah. held an umbrella over me. It's not really yeah. raining that bad, but oh. I appreciate it. So you sing your songs in clubs and. Yeah, well, I tour at tattoo shops around the country, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, put out a new record recently. I'm going to go out on tour. So What's I the name I'd... of the record? It's called Get Right. Get Right. Yeah, Get Right. Get Right. Hey, uh, we're on our way to an improv class. With, I love uh, improv. You love improv. Yeah. I think, I think you should come with us. But do you have another song? Yeah, song I got another song. This is called The, the Hotel. 
The hotel stands in disrepair. The tenants, they don't seem to care. Rent is cheap and the bulbs are bare. Good light for playing solitaire. The bar is open down below. The beer is flat, but the beer is cold. Good enough for rock and roll. Keeps the walls from closing in. Oh, oh, fix me now, won't you? Fix me. Oh, oh, fix me now, won't you? I forgot the lyrics a little bit. It's a new song I'm working right, on. It, but, right. but you know, you get the gist. Oh, got me down. Fix me now. Fix Won't me you. now. Check out of the hotel. That's like imp you guys doing improv. We should get yeah, to the improv. improv yeah. We don't want to keep Jessica yeah. waiting. Come All on. right, let's, let's, let's do go. things. Uh, hello, everybody. We're here today with Jessica Williams from The Daily Show. Stop it. Stop it. Do they, they like you. There's a lot of people well, here. There's a lot of people here. This is uh, Shakespeare. Hi, Shakespeare. Hi. Yeah. Hey, Good nice guy. to meet you. This is my dad. Of course your dad's here. Yes, he's Hi. here. Good. Jake Labatz. Jake, uh, he, was, Hi, Jake. Uh, he was in the park singing, and we just thought he might be a good um, yeah. uh, guy with glasses. Uh, he's on our crew. This is uh, Banks. Hi, nice to meet you. know my brother, Michael? Yeah, of course your brother's here. Yeah, okay. And he's a hugger. Hey, he's a hugger. He's a hugger. You know, Gio, we have uh, Sylvester. Oh, OK. What? Oh, oh, yeah, you gotta watch this yeah. guy. He's a hand kisser. That's the last He's time I was gonna have this yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is Michael Kenneth Williams. I know who that is. You know, yes. know exactly yes. who that is. Hello, sir. Nice to meet you. There's a lot of guys here, too. Yeah. Real sausage fest in here. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. Let's do whatever this is. Basically, today I'm gonna teach you guys some comedy sports games. We're gonna start with a game called uh, Zip, Zap, Zop. Zip. Zap. Zop. Zip. Zap. Zap. Zip. Zap. Zip. Zap. Zip. Zap. Zip. Zap. Zip. Zap. Zip. 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 Small that can fit in your hand. Beer, beer, beer. Your suggestion is beer. Beer is sometimes very filling. Yeah, it is. Well, let's get out of this bar then. Yeah, I guess so. Spaghetti. Your suggestion is spaghetti. The organic beef at this restaurant is just amazing. Thank you for taking me. Well, you're very welcome. But I especially like the spaghetti. Something hard. A dictionary. A dictionary. I've read through the dictionary about 15 times already, and I'm still not understanding it. I've read through the dictionary no times, and I still don't understand it. <laughs> Well, the hell with the dictionary. I don't understand what's going on. But... <laughs> so I'm gonna take a knife and I'm gonna throw it to Steve. What? <laughs> 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 Yeah. Those are great. I've never really seen anybody gut anybody the way that this particular group decided to gut each other. This has been great. Thank you guys so much for having me. Try to keep at it, some of you. Some of you don't. Keep We're going to make you proud someday. I don't know about that, Steve. Thank you for sitting on our bench and talking with us. We like to think of it as a as a talking talking, talking show. show. The other day we were talking with Dick Cavett and he gave us some advice. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, just have more of a conversation with people. So that's all we're gonna do here today. Okay. So you were adopted. Nope. I was not adopted. <laughs> um, I wasn't adopted. Um where did you did you know no, that no. from somewhere? No, no, no. That was just a conversation starter. Mm-hmm. So what was it like growing up in New York? I'm not from New York, actually. I'm from Los Angeles, California, oh, born and raised. But you hung out in Manhattan Beach? Uh, sometimes, yeah, like when I was older, but I'm yeah. from Torrance, so that's not the same as Manhattan Beach. OK. Did you, like, 
Google me at all or like I want to get to know you. So 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 why would I look you up and and uh, know everything about you before I before I talk to you? I right? feel like that's something that maybe Dick would have told you to kind of research a little bit before you sit down. Actually, no, he he said not to, right? Um, I think he told us one of the first things to do is give the guests a compliment. I mean, I'm sure people have uh, said this to you before. Um, can I touch your hair? No, absolutely not. No, I wasn't. I wasn't asking if I, I'm saying I'm sure people have said to you, "Can I touch your hair?" Yeah, right? yes, they have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Were I you really touch... not asking? No, me just I now? was not asking. Was there I a would... small part of you asking if you could touch my hair? Maybe. I mean, if I did touch your hair, you wouldn't even know I was touching it. I would know. Here, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna touch your hair. Okay. But I want to show you something. Okay. Can you take off your hat? I want you to close your eyes. I'm gonna touch your hair. All right. You tell me if you know when I'm touching your hair. Oh, can't feel that. Are you touching my hair yet? See, but you thought I touched your hair, right? I, uh, yeah. I thought he said he couldn't feel anything. Yeah, but isn't it interesting that when I went like this mm -hmm. and he had his eyes closed, he said, no, <laughs> I, you're not touching my hair, but he thought that I really was touching his hair. <laughs> That's a little something that I learned from David Blaine. You, were, you talked to David Blaine? No, I said I learned it from him. You know, I could certain things like what David Blaine does or like what Dick does, it requires pre-planning of some sort. You know what I'm saying? Are you sassing me? Mm, I don't know. Am I? I find I, sassy to be a I, word with a gender attached I, to it. I call Geo sassy all the time. Geo, is that true? Well, he said no. No, I saw it. But what you don't know <laughs> is when we're out and shooting, I'm going to be calling Geo sassy for the rest of the day, <laughs> and then I can cut it in before this interview. Right. And then you're going to look like what? Probably like a butthole, <laughs> I guess. Oh. It's a family show. Sorry. Sorry. Did you know I'm on a show called The Daily Show? I know that you're on a show called The Daily Show. So you do that seven days a week? Uh, I do it five days a week. So it's not really daily? It's, mm, no. Uh, did you grow up watching The Daily Show? Yeah, it's been on since 1997. So I, I grew up watching it a lot. I started working there when I was 22. I got hired oh. out of Kelsey Long Beach in LA. and just sort of moved straight here for the job. So, wow. been here ever since. I, I never would have thought that I would be able to say the things that I get to say and do the things that I get to do. Um, and I'm really happy that I get to do that, like, in the Daily Show world. You made an, an audition tape? Is that, is that, did you I make did. your own tape? I yeah. did, that's yeah. good, yeah. you did, I did. that. <laughs> Steve, wow. Yeah, I did, I, I made an audition and tape. And your mom helped you? She did not help me. She did. Ah, okay. damn it, I okay. thought I was on a roll Swing there. Swing and a miss. You were guessing. All right. You were guessing. I was on the show once. Really? Yeah. Were yeah. you really? Yeah. I mean, have you done any of the other talk talk shows, like, as a guest? No, no, I'm not famous yet. Is this your first talk? talk? Well, yes. I mean, we're a talking show. Yeah, this, this is, is my first one, actually, yeah. That's I mean, pretty if you cool. I if mean, this, if this is what you want to call a talking show, Yeah. Uh, this is my first one. All right. Ask her about being six feet tall. Um, do you want to ask me? I'm pretty sure she just heard you, so. <laughs> do you want to Do you want to ask me about being six feet tall? Yeah, how do you feel about yeah. being six feet tall? Um, and I love being six feet tall. I really like it a lot. I used to hate it, like in the seventh grade. Mm -hmm. Hated it. And sometimes I'll be sitting and I'll see like, like a tall woman and she'll be walking by and I'll be like, dang, she's huge. And then I'll stand up and realize I'm the same height as her. So I'm like, is that how I look like to other people? Like, Let's all imagine that a six foot person is walking by. Okay. And we'll all go, wow. That person's tall. And then you two will get the expression, I'm tall too. But I'll have the expression, I'll never be that tall. Mm -hmm. And go. How was that? It's, uh, this is... Come on. Come on, this was fun, wasn't it? This it was... was it, that's not quite the word that I would use. Uh, it was something. Well, I think that's pretty good. Like when people go, wow, that was something. I thought it was it's groundbreaking. Yeah. Groundbreaking? Yes. That's the word you use for this? Yeah, I agree. I am not breaking new ground here today. As a matter of fact, I need to call my agent and we need to have a conversation about what went down today. This was. Hey, everybody, can you listen up? Um, I just wanted to thank everybody. You've been a great crew. Uh, what a 
wonderful season of Park Bench this has been. I just want you to know that I really appreciate it. You've, you've always, thank you so much. No problem. You've just been so wonderful. And uh, uh, on behalf of Gio and I, I just want to, uh, well, where is Gio? I don't know. Yeah, I was like, I want to shake his hand. I was like, yeah, I was like, oh, he got some yeah. good sides, man. He does, doesn't he? And I'm like looking at his hand and like Steve's hand and stuff. And no, he does have big hands. But, oh, finally, yeah. It's all right. It's all right. What is going on here? It's the final episode of Bench Talk. Well, we just did our final episode of Park Bench. They're not coincidence. Nice to see you, Gio. Good to see you too, Steve. Yeah, you know the band? Hi, Steve. Nice to see you. Anthony? Hi, Steve. How are you? Good, thank yeah. you. Well, I have to ask you, who's your last guest? You serious? The agent didn't tell you. My agent? No, what? It's you. It's me? Yeah. Really? Oh. Hey. What's up, Steve? Hey, thanks for having Welcome. me on your show. Oh, man. I really appreciate it. Great band we got here. Yeah, they are a great band. Gio got me hooked up, man. Boy, you don't waste any time. He's a double dipper. Huh? <laughs> double dipper Gio. Well, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you too, man. Thanks. So, is it Buscemi or Buscemi? Well. First, there's only me and my dream. Then came the reality stranger than my dream. Sometimes I feel like I need to scream. <coughs> what a strange place that I find myself in. What a life, what a life, what a life, what a life. I can't believe that this is my life. What a life, what a life, what a life, what a life. But wouldn't change for anybody else's life. This is some groundbreaking stuff here. Thanks, Joe. You're welcome.